My name is Alicia and today's topic is unemployment. Not just any type of unemployment, youth unemployment. Are you below the age of 16 and feel intimidated about the high level of youth unemployment? Maybe you're worried that your GCSE grades will let you down. Well, my friends, you are not alone. The number of 16 to 24 year olds not in education, work or training in England alone has reached 938,000, the Department of Education shows. Yes, these figures are alarming, so I understand 100% why you feel scared about not being able to find a job. We all have dreams, we all have aspirations, we all want to become something in life. Have you let these alarming figures cross your dreams? Are you really going to allow yourself to fall into this youth unemployment category? I'll be devastated if you said yes, because we can make a change. You can make a change. Let's make a change. Here are five dazzling top tips in which you can take in order to resist this category. Volunteering. Volunteering helps you to gain experience in fields which you may want to work in. This means that employers don't need to train you, which puts you in their favour. Tip two, aim for the best grades. And tip one, Bison really will pay off. Tip three, build on leadership skills, e.g. participate in the Duke of Edinburgh Awards in PE if you get the chance to. Tip four, stay in education. Higher education enables you to gain more skills, which open ways for you and good opportunities. Tip five, stay clean and don't get involved in drugs or crime. Criminal records don't please employers. Here with me today, we have three people live at the HAB radio studio. These people are going to tell you the experience of youth unemployment and what they think of it. Our first person that we're going to interview is Jessica Olamide, a student from Year 10. Hello, Jessica. Would you like to tell us your views on youth unemployment and how you feel? Well, once I heard the shocking figure of youth unemployment, I began to think whether I'll be able to find a job once I left school. I then began to follow some of the other dazzling top tips which Alicia gave me. Every day after school, I complete all my coursework to my highest ability and I am willing to participate in volunteering projects which would help me develop experience. Youth unemployment must change. We can make a change. You can also make a change. Here with us now we have Kalia. Kayla is going to explain to us why she feels it's hard for youth to get jobs in society today. Before I heard this information about youth unemployment, I thought that I'd be able to easily get a job as that is what everyone is expected to do once they've left school. However, now I am able to understand it is really hard to become employed, which makes me feel really worried and pushes me to think whether I need to stay in school as there is no point if I'm not going to be able to find a job afterwards. So is this why you feel that there's a high level of school dropouts? Yeah, I think this is why there's a high level of school dropouts because if you are not going to get a job after all these years in school, what's the point of wasting your time and money? So do you think that these high levels of youth unemployment is pushing you to want to drop out of school? Yes, because even with my qualifications, I may not be able to get a job at the end of it and become unemployed and be on benefits anyway. Thank you, Kalia. Have you heard the five dazzling top tips in which you can take in order to prevent yourself from being unemployed? Um, yes, I have. And now that I've heard them, I think I might try them because this will help me get employment once I leave school. What's the first one that you might want to try? Um, doing some volunteering work because experience looks really good on your CV. Did you choose Duke of Edinburgh for your PE course? Yes, I did. OK, thank you, Kalia. I hope I've given you something to think about. Remember to use the five dazzling top tips in order to stay out of unemployment. I have no doubt that you will stay out of unemployment. Goodbye and thank you for listening.